Assalamualaikum everyone, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Taiba once again if you're new to my channel and Ramadan Mubarak to all. I hope your first or second rosa went well. So here I'm just making some keema from the chicken boneless thighs that I got from Halal Meat and I will be marinating that with some Shan Bihari Masala for later. And then I'm also filling up these dates I got from Costco in my container. And then I have some cilantro here that I got from Walmart and um, I just like to wash it all together and I'll just like to dry it overnight so it's easier for me to just cut it with scissor and like to freeze it in the bag so that way it doesn't go bad really fast and I can just use it in different things and here is some imliki chutney that I have um, I'm gonna be making some chutney for samosas and pakore so what I use here is two cloves of garlic a bunch of cilantro and a little bit of mint and then I use three tablespoons of that pulp of the tamarind and then I have some those buttons are like those big red chili peppers and then I put a little bit of zira and salt in it and I just put a little bit of water in it and I just mix it up and it was really delicious you guys and here you see me smelling the jar because I always like to smell my jars to make sure there's no smell in it otherwise I like to wash it or rinse it and then put the rest of it in there and I just wanted to put more water in it to just get all the other chutney that was left in there And then I'm also just preparing for the first day of Ramadan here. So I'm just writing down the Suhoor and Iftar time for my Muslim Pro app. And on my dining table, I just have this setup here that you guys have seen in my Ramadan Clean Decorate video. If you haven't seen it, I will leave it down below or on the or on the iCard up above. I was just trying to put the dates in there and the flatbread you have seen in that same bucket, but I thought it was so jumbling up. So I decided to just bring this tray out that I got from Target a while back and I thought it looks um, much better like this. I would love to know which one you guys like better, the first setup or this one. Um, I like this one a lot this because it's like more open and not like so much together I guess on that tray. And I do not have all the mats out right now because I think this setup is a little kid friendly. I decided to just put this tray here because I thought it was more functional for right now for Ramadan. So I'm just keeping the same decor and then I stick this bismillah here with some command hooks. And then I put the flapper in this thing I got from Ross, I think, from the stationery section. And here are some dates that I have in here. Um, I got this from Home Goods like a while back, maybe two years ago. So I thought this setup looks much better on the dining table. I need you to read the book, please. Then how are you going to answer the questions? Can you read it out loud so I can hear it? What are you working on, Mimi? What letter is that? A. Is that a little H? Yes. <laughs> Amna is working now on her mat, counting on a number line. And go. C. Good. See that? I made an uppercase okay. E. E. No, A, B, C, D, E, F. Oh, I know how to make an uppercase F. And then after the homeschooling session, Amna's Islamic teacher sent us this video about the Ramadan moon. The kids wanted to see it and I thought I'll share it with you guys and maybe you guys can show it to your kids. And then I wanted to clean my, my fiddle leaf I got from Home Depot just recently before the lockdown. So it had like some white spots on it so I just wanted to clean that up with wet paper towels. So it's the first Siri time. I just came down and I'm just making some parhantas and I will be eating this chicken jalfrizi I made the same day before. I saw Masuma Khan on YouTube. She made that jalfrizi video and it looks so good so I wanted to give it a try and it turned out really good. So I was gonna have that for my sohor today and I'm gonna also have my yogurt with that. I would love to know what do you guys eat for sohor especially or like what is your go-to sohor thing is that you always eat on your sohor and then after that I just prayed fajr
and then I have some Amazon packages waiting for me outside so I just quickly bring them in and take out everything from there take out some of them from the packages and put it on the clean surface I just like to use the alcohol to just wipe them down and then clean the surface with the alcohol again and anything that I touch with my dirty hands and just clean that down So here's one of the stuff animal I ordered for Amna. It's called Pusheen. This is the one that's holding an ice cream in, her, in his hand. They also have different ones on Amazon. The other stuff you saw in the boxes were the hair stuff that my brother-in-law ordered. So that was his stuff. And I only ordered a Pusheen for Amna. So here is Amna. She has taken a shower, got cleaned up and everything and she wanted to make her bed now and put all of her pillows she has and all of her stuffed animals she has. So she was super excited to put her new pusheen with her all the other two stuffed animals she has. The pink one she got with her father and then the purple one I got from Five Below for her and then that's her new pusheen that she has on her bed now. Yeah, yeah. Then I just prayed my Juma and after that I prayed a little bit of Quran and after a little bit I went downstairs and start cooking. I'm just cooking some kima that I marinated with the Bihari masala before and in the red pot I'm making alu gosh. So in the Bihari kima I just followed the directions what it said on the packaging. After it's cooked at the end I just like to add the red onions and then ginger and cilantro and mint and then I also like to add some butter in it because I think that just gives it a really good taste and then I'm just gonna finish cooking that and I'm just gonna dish it out. So here is the kima. I put some raw onion on top and some ginger and some fresh cilantro on it. On this side I have the alu gosh. My husband really loved the kima. So for iftar, I just made some aluka pakora and some chaat with bananas and strawberries and some rubza and that's what Amna and I ate. How is it Muspa, your Good. white rice? Good. Thumbs up? If you want more, I can give you more, okay? Really? <laughs> Well, I am done praying my maghrib and now I'm just going to clean the dining area and the kitchen dishes and I have to wash all the dishes with my hand. My dishwasher has not been working for a month you guys and I've been washing all the dishes with my hands. So please pray for my dishwasher that it get fixed soon so I don't have to wash dishes in Ramadan as well with my hands. After washing all those dishes, it's so satisfying seeing that clean sink. I really like seeing the sink so clean. And then after that, I'm going to be cleaning my stove which is soap and water and then just clean it off with paper towel. And then after that, I'm just going to have my dinner of alu gosh and some fresh roti. And here is my clean kitchen, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give my video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I will see you in my next video.